Hey guys, it's Jody Bohm here, IFBB Fitness Pro, and I'm here to show you my arm and ab workout for the day. start out with my pre-stack. This is actually going to be my whole workout stack, but to start uh, I'm going to do the pre-HD Ultra with the Burn HD because now I am back in prep. Yay! But, okay, so yeah, I'm going to mix my one scoop. Two caps. Alright, so intro. I cannot do the powder into water, like powder in my mouth like people do it. No chance. I'd cough like that cinnamon challenge. Here we go, gonna warm up now. Always, always start with my rotator warm up. And basically, because, well, even just yesterday doing my fitness practice and fitness routine, I actually did tweak my rotator pretty bad. And um, because of that, today's plan was supposed to be chest and shoulder workout, but because of this tweak, I have no choice but to do arms and abs. But hey, um, people like my biceps, so you're welcome. <laughs> Today's arm day. But today I am going to be doing um, three different supersets or circuits combining biceps and triceps. Like a bicep, superset, tricep, or tricep, superset, bicep, and combine it like that. And then finish up with um, a fitness style ab routine. Frank McGrath trying to steal my thunder over there. <laughs> All right, my first superset is gonna be um, the easy bar curls and dumbbell skull crushers. Aiming for 12 weeks out, which is gonna be the Phoenix, Arizona Wings of Strength show. Uh, that's gonna be September 5th, as long as the borders are open, of course. Um, and then my second option would be October 18th, being in Chicago, which would be driving distance for me. Um, but the only issue with that is, is, is the absolute last chance to qualify for the Olympia. So if I do Arizona, then at least I have that second chance for the points or another um, opportunity to win. If I do Chicago and don't win, I'm kind of screwed out of this year's Olympia. But anyways, so that's the goal. But I'm training to win, so. Here we go. Um, no, everything's my favorite today. But arms, I'm just known for my arms. Um, I would just, I would say actually back in the day, arms was my favorite. I would do arms almost every day. Not that that's a good thing, but that's when I was young and dumb and skipped leg day. For real, I would do biceps and not legs. So <laughs> that maybe explains a few things. Next up, I'm gonna do a circuit of heavy alternating dumbbell curls, drop set to seated hammer grip curls, and then I'm gonna go brace position, uh, tricep kickbacks. way harder than it looks. I literally can't go more than like 7.5 on that exercise. Oh. Okay, I'll increase the weight. We'd say even here, similar to my easy bar curls, again, it's always, I'm really big on full range. Like when the curls, people stop here and they curl like this, you're not getting that end range, which is actually the stretch of the muscle, which is the most important part of a growth phase is actually that bottom stretch. So even when I'm curling, again, like I said, I make sure I can feel that my triceps a little flexed so that I know I'm full range. And then coming up this way. It's a Jody Bohm tip. <laughs> So you see, I do like to lean slightly forwards and then reset my shoulders backwards so that when I'm in the curl here, there's still that tension. Other than coming all the way up, it relaxes. So I could lean forwards, shoulders back, and then I'll hit them. Okay. 
And the brace position, same idea as that. It like literally doesn't let you use your body or any momentum. It's very strict triceps only, which is why I only got the fives. So with tricep push downs, I'm gonna hit hit it in two different ways. So I'll do like the typical straight down um, here, and then leaning forwards more like a skull crusher. So I'm gonna hit the two different heads there, two different styles, and then get into the cable spider curls. Let's go up. A little light. <sighs> but yeah, when I use the rope, I like to always pull down and then open up. Even when I do the skull crushers, it's like pull and open. I don't really have an explanation why, but it feels good. <laughs> That's one thing I do miss with fitness is I don't get to pose like I did in physique. And I definitely do miss that whole side chest. It just actually shows more. Boom, boom, boom. You know, but I do put a flex in almost every one of my fitness routines too. So do the splits and flex or something. Always, you gotta. Jody bone biceps. Okay, moving on to abs. I don't have any right now. <laughs> No abs yet, because I just started the burn HD, you know. Got to get that to kick in first, and then I'll get shredded. <laughs> I forget what I'm doing, so maybe give me one sec. Hanging leg raises. Maybe some weighted dead bugs. What else should I do for abs? Damn. I can do the dragon flags, actually. Damn. my ab routine, I do try to focus more on less of the crunch type action. It's more of body control, hollow body position. Everything I do has a purpose for certain skills. Even a hanging leg raise is proper handstand position and then lifting into like a, for press to handstand strength. So, I mean, everything I do for my core in general always has a skill reason behind it as well. So thanks for tuning in to my workout today. Um, I am 12 weeks out, so if you wanna follow along my journey, I would love you for it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to this video, and follow me on Instagram, at Jody Bow. And I'm out. I did it! <laughs> that was good! <laughs>